Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions and in today's video I'm going to show you guys five ways to create and modify your viewports within AutoCAD uh, all in under five minutes. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe and like the video below uh, as well as if you like these tips uh, and want to learn some more about uh, productivity and uh, a general uh, workflow tricks in AutoCAD, make sure you guys check out my hour-long webinar that's packed full of uh, tips just like these. I'll put the link in the description below. Let's get started. All right, so I know many of you uh, already use AutoCAD, but if not, uh, a quick rundown of what viewports are. Viewports are windows that allow you to display drawing objects from your model space in your layout space. This lets you set the scale and the extent of what you're looking at in model space, allowing you to show an entire drawing on your layout or uh, just a small detail or area. Now, many of you will be familiar with this standard way to create a viewport, which would be on the layout tab up here where you can just click, click rectangular and draw in a viewport. This will just default to showing all of the objects within your drawing uh, and set its scale accordingly, which you can see down here is at a random number. You can use this drop down to set the scale of your viewport to a particular scale. Uh, but in today's video and for tip number one, I'm gonna show you guys the option of creating viewports with these two uh, commands down here. The first is creating a polygon shape uh, viewport using this command here. So if you select it, it's gonna allow you to click uh, however you like, creating a viewport once you close this object uh, in any shape you need. So I'm just going to uh, type CL for close and it's going to close it in. This allows you to create a viewport with a specific area or shape uh, Maybe cropping out an area you don't need so you can add notes or a legend to the side here uh, But that's a super useful command that's often underlooked uh, Number two is creating a viewport from an object. So this is where you can get uh, creative with your viewport, so I'm just going to create a circle here, the circle command, and go up to layout and create by object. Now I can select my circle and you can see I've got a circular viewport here. So by double clicking inside, I can move it around and now I've got a circular viewport. Uh, you can also do this by pre-making an odd shape as long as it's a closed object you can create a viewport from it. All right, next up is what do you do if you have a viewport already? Say I've got a typical rectangular viewport here and I want to add text maybe up here or maybe I want to add another viewport in the corner. You can do something called a clip. So say I have some text, let's just create some text in the corner. and I want to clip out my viewport around this area here. I simply draw a polygon where I'd like my viewport to be. This is going to be my clipping boundary. So you can see I'm drawing around here. I type in close. I can simply click on this click clip button under layout, select the viewport you would like to clip so that would be my outer line here. And then select the clipping object by simply clicking there. So now you can see it's clipped the viewport to not display anything in the clipped out area. This can be super useful uh, for examples like mine where I'm, at, where I'm adding notes, a list, a legend. Uh, it can also be used to then add another viewport over here. If you would like to show a blown up area in particular, possibly this bathroom over here. Uh, moving these over there. So you can use this in a bunch of ways, uh, but that's number three. 
Number four is a named view. Uh, this is one that doesn't get used a lot, but can be a huge time saver, especially if you're making a lot of sheets using the same objects, but you want to show different areas. In your model view, you can go to the view tab here and under view manager, select your model views and click new. From here, you can choose the name of your view, uh, which will make sense once you see what we're doing here. I'm just going to call it uh, second floor plan. Uh, you can choose a category. I'm just going to leave all this blank, but where I'm going to choose is to define my window. So we'll call this the first floor plan and this the second floor plan on the right. I'm simply going to draw a box that I want to show as my extents of my second floor plan and hit enter when I'm done. You can leave everything else uh, standard for now and we're just going to hit OK and then we're going to click another one. So we're going to create a second view. We're going to click new again and this one we're going to call master bedroom. I'm going to define the window and we're going to circle or select this whole area here showing our master bedroom only. We're going to hit OK and then hit OK again. So now we've got two model views. So you can do these as you're creating things in your layout or in your model space, knowing that later on you're going to want to show views of these things. So if you've got details over here or uh, something somewhere else on a site plan, create a view of it so that later when you're creating your drawings, you can quickly show those views on here. So we're going to go to layout and we're going to just choose named new viewport and in our case you could do a single uh, or you could do two vertical or horizontal because we have two i'm just going to do one to show you how it works under here you simply choose which view you would like to focus on second floor or master so we'll do the full second floor and then you simply just choose the area you want to show it and it's going to automatically show just the area you selected now we're going to do this again, go to new tab, single master bedroom. Now this one is simply going to focus on the master bedroom to that bottom left there. You can see we've got a blow up there. Now you can annotate these. You've got two views created quickly of the exact extents you want it. All right, so that's number four. And now number five is simply a tip. And that's to, once you've got your views set up is to lock them. You can do that up top here using the lock or unlock, or when you've got a viewport selected, you can right click and go to display unlocked and choose yes. This is important and just a good kind of uh, general tip is when you're done with a viewport, as in setting it up to the right location and scale, lock them because now that I've activated this viewport and I move around, it doesn't scale in or out or shift my viewport accidentally, so I can't screw those up. If you ever need to move them again, simply select and either click the lock on the bottom, right click and turn the lock to no. And then you can move it around again. Now, I think we're probably over the uh, five minutes, but I'll give you guys one more bonus tip. And that's once you've created uh, layouts, so that's the entire area here is the layout tab. Once you've created a layout you like, uh, I recommend creating or saving them into a template file. Uh, you can also get my templates, which are available on the blog and website. I'll put a link in the description below. But these templates allow you to quickly bring in a new layout tab with your views already set up to the way you like in terms of shapes, the uh, layout, whether you like them horizontal or vertical or three or four. Uh, all automatically. So if you right click on any of the tabs and go and click on from template, I've got mine saved, documents CAD. So I can choose any of these and they've already got a viewport set up the way that I like. So let's just say we're going to choose this one here in Imperial, the same one we've got in the background. We're going to click open. You'll see at the bottom, once we choose our uh, layout name. So I'm going to choose this landscape one, 11 by 17. We've got a new tab with the layout preset and I've got a viewport already created in the middle here. 
This can save you a lot of time over the life of a project, uh, as well as just as the, over the life of a drafter. So definitely set up your templates. Again, I sell some uh, like this one you see here with uh, text pre-populated as well as viewports already set up. If you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you're interested in learning some more AutoCAD productivity tips and tricks, be sure to check out my webinar in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.